Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at how to remove ham from a disk drive or a CD drive. So you've got, you got your basic CD drive here. You want to open this up. Again, that method doesn't work for every type of CD drive. You want to get your piece of ham, stick that on there like that, and then simply close the drive. So ham's gone. Where, where, where has the ham gone? The ham is inside here at this point in time. This is a quick illustration or schematic what's going on inside the CD drive at this point. What you want to do is grab some cheese. Again, open the CD drive. Like I said, the ham is still inside there. Bung this cheese on here like this and close the CD drive up again. It doesn't really matter if the cheese doesn't fit. Just kind of cram that cheese in there as best you can. What you want to do as well is scrape off any excess cheese off the drive itself. So now you've got a CD drive with ham inside and cheese inside, almost like some sort of cannibalistic robot sandwich. Maybe a robot might eat this, but obviously a robot's not gonna eat a CD drive unless it's a cannibal, because CD drives a robot as well, kind of, if you, if, you, if you see what I mean. Just give it a bit of a shake, kind of push it down a little bit, and then you wanna crack it back open again with a bit of force. So now, if you see here, We've got the ham, the ham has come out again. The ham has come out, so the, the ham w was stuck inside the main body of, of, the, of the disk drive, um, but it's come out again. Let me explain the science behind that. If you look very, very closely at a piece of cheese, you can see tiny little hooks on the surface of the cheese. Science. The ham has got tiny little eye holes on a microscopic, almost microscopic level. So if, if, if you look, if you look at the ham, you can see those tiny little eye holes. And what it does, when you slap these cheese and ham together, it acts like Velcro, they stick together. You've got a clean CD drive now, free of cheese, free of ham, you can basically use that CD drive again now. When I was a lot younger, I put a piece of ham in a CD drive and it just disappeared. And since that point on, I've been trying to figure out how to get it out. This is by far, this is by far the best method that I've found so far in life of getting the ham out of the CD drive. Ooh. 